Welcome back, Leo. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be the energies around you, surrounding you, what's coming towards you. So if you guys do resonate with this reading, please be sure to like. And if you do like this reading, please be sure to subscribe. And if you have already, merci beaucoup. I thank you. And before we begin, let's give the bowl a ring. Let's make the bowl sing. <laughs> what is coming towards the Leos what is coming towards you guys hold on one second let me just fix my cards over here okay. all right hopefully we don't have any interruptions Okay, so, Leo, this is for you. What is coming towards the Leos? What is coming towards the Leos? What is coming towards Leo? What is coming towards the Leos? Is coming towards the Leo. I'll take that one first. Okay, so we have the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Okay. I'm not gonna use my um <laughs> my I call it the crickly deck because it's all crickly now. But I like that it's easy to shuffle for my hands. This is actually the second deck. The second, um, the same deck, actually. Obviously, it's not shuffling well right now, but. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me take my braids off for a second. Okay. All right, Leo, this is for you guys. This is for Leo. Leo, this is for you guys. Sorry about the noise. Those are my neighbors. Oh my gosh. Sorry, banana. Bananas out with me. Alright. Oh. For Leo. What do we have for Leo? What is this chariot here for Leo? Hmm. So, um, some of you guys can be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Hmm. 
two of swords at the bottom of the deck and the two of pentacles at the bottom of the other deck. So we have two twos, so there could be something about decisions here, Leo, a decision that you guys need to make. Okay. So, Leo, it does look like you guys have, um, it could be that you guys are going towards something. It looks like there is um, a disconnect between you and another person where it looks like you guys, you know, there's mutual love, respect. Um, this could be a partnership even. But it looks like there's an energy of waiting. So I don't know if you guys are waiting for somebody to come towards you or if you guys are waiting to go towards something else. But it looks like there's also an energy perhaps of not giving up um end of victory something working out something um something successful it could be successful you do have the ten of pentacles here too hmm. some of you guys could be dealing with a family situation some of you guys could be dealing no banana no some of you guys could be dealing with um something that had the potential to be long term Don't worry, he's not too close to the um, candle. <laughs> I'll just move him. <laughs> okay. Leave the sage banana. I know, we're outside. Okay. So, let us see. Oh. So, you guys are dealing with a Scorpio. I guess I'd have Scorpio in my chart. I'd buy this. So it looks like you guys are dealing with um, some type of conflict, drama. It looks like it could be the end of, a, of some type of drama conflict. It looks like somebody wants to um, reach out. Some of you guys, this could be like uh, drama at work, okay, competition at work. Maybe some of you guys are, are competing for a raise or, you know, for a certain position or something like that. Or, you know what I mean? Um, maybe some of you guys are trying to be seen, but it looks like, you know, um, there's some type of change or a transformation in and some type of partnership or a connection i feel like some of you guys yes are definitely waiting a long time for something being patient it does look like something does work out for you guys there is growth fertility abundance a wish um some of you guys could be dealing with a divine counterpart we do have the empress here um the empress could also be a mother or a mother figure um but whatever it is, it looks like there it's going to make you happy. It looks like it's a wish. Okay? And it looks like there's growth with it. And then it looks like um, you guys are... Perhaps there's an energy of communication. There's an energy of somebody um, releasing... Uh, maybe somebody was trying to hold back from something. Or maybe somebody was... Um, you know, holding back from you, holding back communication from you. It doesn't look like there's going to be communication. It does look like there's some type of truth and clarity. It does look like a cycle is is wrapping up. Some of you guys are starting a new cycle. Um, a new cycle is beginning for some of you guys. Um, some of you guys, there's uh, this energy of, um, yeah, like a change in transformation. It could be like a family situation for some of you guys. Just clarify why this Nana. What are you doing? So maybe somebody needed um, to make a decision. Maybe somebody was juggling um, you with another person, or maybe you and work, and maybe somebody just had a lot going on. Oh, there's another one that's flipped over. Yeah, maybe this person wasn't really giving you enough energy. Some of you guys um, decided to go a different direction or perhaps just heal, rest, take a break from this whole situation. Um, some of you guys could have been dealing with something that was uh, toxic or you guys could have been dealing with a Capricorn as well. Um, let's see here. 
there's something new beginning for some of you guys something that could have been on hold stuck not moving we look we have the king of pentacles and the ten of pentacles here but we have the hanged man here too so i feel like for some of you guys yes things were stuck things were not moving forward things weren't there wasn't enough progress but it looks like um whoever's been holding back wants to communicate wants to looks like you guys are wrapping up a cycle or starting a new cycle like i said with something new something real something uh tangible with the potential of being long-term and stable and it does look like over here again like i said somebody could have been juggling or something like that um somebody could have been juggling somebody perhaps uh, banana <laughs> please stop <laughs> please stop banana okay let's see why is this in reverse here um, maybe somebody was dealing from somebody with the um, from the past. Maybe, okay. Okay, so it looks like somebody. Let me stretch out my legs. So, it looks like somebody is, um, they have strong emotions here. Now, I do see something about the past energy, something about, it could be family, like I said, it could be something about emotional fulfillment here too. Something, um, maybe a family situation became a burden, maybe so, so there's kids involved in, in, in this whole situation. Looks like somebody's like feeling burdened and then they just decide to withdraw and ghost this whole situation now if they're ghosting you i don't know if you're ghosting them i'm not sure uh some of you guys could be dealing with a virgo some of you guys are cancer pisces scorpio we also have aquarius super gemini here um whatever it is it looks like it became a burden and somebody decided to release this burden and withdraw and perhaps even start doing some inner work now it does look like um, somebody that does have emotions for you. Again, sorry about um, the noise that my neighbors are making. I am so sorry. I thought it would have been more quiet. Um, anyways, um, it looks like something is going to be getting revealed. Um, it could be somebody. It could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio revealing something to you. Um, this person could have been like you know a little bit harsh with their words and stuff yeah looks like lack of communication like maybe this person wasn't communicating well with you maybe this person um was even like you know just not that mature you know lacking maturity this person could also you know just want you know things that weren't you know just physical things you know <laughs> Maybe somebody's gonna re reveal to you that um, that they're single. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys are working, perhaps on yourself, or there's an energy of just working. Let's see. To reconcile, perhaps for some of you guys, clarify this. Yeah, this person wants some type of victory with you, Leo. My bad. This person wants some type of victory with you. This person wants something to work out, something to be long term, um, stable, real. Maybe there was confusion and stuff like that. Maybe again, there was some, there was something getting in the way. But I feel like somebody perhaps is ready to like move forward, move away from this kind of energy. Let me get one more over here. Um, there's an energy of investing time, energy, effort, or again, an energy of waiting. Um, this person definitely wants to plant some type of seeds. It could be you. It could be them somebody wants to plant some type of seeds um and invest into something that could be long term something stable some of you guys um this person maybe this person came off cold like i feel like this person was a cold person um maybe their words you know were very sharp and stuff like that okay but i feel like there's a lot of physical attraction where are you going <laughs> You can't leave. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, Vanetta. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Sorry, Leo. Anyways, there's definitely a lot of attraction. I feel like somebody's also perhaps maybe somebody um ignored somebody or there's like an energy of somebody ignoring somebody's offer of love even or maybe to heal a situation. Um maybe some of you guys are finding your confidence to, you know perhaps they notice something. But it does look like there's going to be um, communication. It does look like there is... Um, it could be a strong connection with this emperor, this empress, ace of cups. I feel like this person does want to offer something to you. It's totally up to you. Like I said in the beginning, there's going to be a decision that you need to make. And it's about if you want to um, move forward with this person. at that don't look at my nails um this person was a liar they kept secrets they they like that something's gonna get revealed regardless but it looks like this person kept secrets uh, this person had perhaps had another person and i and i think see look at that moon um i don't think you guys know about it or you, i don't think you guys knew about it super guarded energy but also oh look okay i get one more so somebody wants to mend a broken heart somebody wants to mend a broken heart i feel like they want to put your guards down super worried energy you know what i've been seeing this king of pentacles this whole time it keeps popping up at the bottom also we have king of cups here too some of you guys are dealing with, with two people some of you guys um Maybe somebody's focused a lot on work, but they do have feelings for you. Let's get some oracles. Oh, this one wants to fly out. Balance. <laughs> that two of pentacles, balance. <laughs> it says, my needs will be met. Change me, divine beloved, into one who can fully offer my schedule to you so my life can be in balance. Let me take rest whenever necessary, trusting that one way or another, all needs will be met honoring at the bottom of the deck longing is popping out there maybe this person's longing for you but they were dealing with some type of mix-up over here um it says i don't know i feel like reading it i am kind and loving change me divine beloved into one who honors my emotions so let me feel my feelings without judgment and then release them show me how to be kind and loving to the child inside who needs care maybe somebody was suppressing their emotions focusing a lot on work with that king of pentacles and that that um king of cups here somebody super super worried or nervous to perhaps offer you know their their cup of love or whatever or whatnot you know to, to tell you that they you know that they care or whatever it is to basically offer some type of emotion they're worried maybe this person ha has had past issues with heartbreak and stuff like that yeah, I, I feel like there's going to be communication, especially if it's been slow. Especially if it's been slow. Alright. Let's get you guys one more. And that will be all. Okay. Bring a love into the situation. Hmm. It's time to take action. So somebody, I feel like, does want to bring love into the situation where perhaps there wasn't any mm-hmm right banana and don't try to escape again please new moon in aquarius aquarius is all about progress and modernity so this is the time to move forwards the new moon in aquarius card means no looking back change is on its way and it could come quickly whether you get the change you want depends both on whether you believe you can have it or how much you're relying on others to bring it to you careful this card comes with the suggestion that you may need to do things independently on your own, but be loving, not too pragmatic. Time may be of the essence when this card comes up. Aquarius energy has an electric feel to it. Certainly there is a sense that you need to let go of the past mm -hmm, and move towards your future as soon as possible. Attune to the moon. Explore the idea that it's not what you know, but whom you know. Additional meanings for this card. You need to be more detached from the situation. 
Thinking outside the box will bring the solution. More pragmatism is called for and improve your karma by doing some charitable work. The teaching of this card is that Aquarius is a sign of invention, modern advances, and technology and humanity. Its energy is a little brittle. It's individual, scientific even, and relatively emotionally detached. Many people think Aquarius is a water sign because, okay, well, let them, okay, I'll keep going. Uh, because the Aquarius symbol is the water bearer, but it's actually an air sign and is far more about intellect than emotional water signs, as is this card, no matter when you draw it dropping convention works well with this energy okay so i'm gonna leave it there leo thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time okay bye